There is a fifth dimension, beyond that which is known to man. It is an area of rational thought as vast as TV and as timeless as the internet. It is one in which characters in film and other forms of media actually make rational decisions. We call this area the Rational Zone. Hello, I'm Rod Sterling, and I would like to take you on an adventure without moving anything but my head and making unnecessary pauses. Shall we begin? A woman sits at her kitchen table. Her phone rings. It's a number that she doesn't recognize. She has no way of knowing that by answering that call, her life would change forever. But of course she doesn't, because who answers random calls? Sam was in bed on a night like any other night. He heard a faint voice coming from his bed. He could just barely make out the word kill. So Sam left his house and called the police. And that was the end of that nightmare. One dark night, Lily was walking home to her apartment. She was only a few blocks from getting there and wanted to get off of the dangerous street as soon as she could. She came across an alley, which she realized would be a shortcut. After a few seconds of considering whether or not to go down the dangerous side road, she was hit by a truck and killed. A man hired a magician to work at his son's birthday party. And as the parents went upstairs, they didn't realize that they left their children to the most horrible hour of their young lives in that basement, as they had to sit through the entire show. After being unfairly institutionalized against his will to Green Clover Asylum by a judge who seemingly had it in for him, he was finally released. And upon his first look at the outside world as a free man, he decided right then and there that the time that he spent deserved no less than three stars on Yelp. Cindy was invited by her best friend to a secret party being held out in the woods in celebration of the end of their junior year. But when Cindy got there, she saw what she would describe later as literally the most horrible thing she'd ever seen, as Brian was found making out with that slut from Spanish class. Sarah was on a camping trip with some friends when she found a note in her tent that said that she would die that night. This led to an hour-long killing spree with massive collateral damage, only to end at a climax in which Sarah's back was against the wall with no hope, only to be saved at the last moment by the character that you least expected, who you thought died an hour ago. All of this was because she didn't want to freak anyone out. Guys, thank you so much for watching the end of this video. If you liked it, then hit that share button because your friends probably will too. If you're new here, then hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week with another video. So if you've been here for a while, then you can probably tell that my schedule has not been at all what I said it would and not at all what I'd hope. So I'm kind of taking a new approach to writing and I think that it might be working out. We'll see. So I'm either going to get back on track with scheduling or the schedule is kind of just going to go out of the window and I'm just gonna upload whenever I can. We'll see how things go, and hopefully I'll be back in two weeks with another video. We'll see. Thanks for watching, guys.